This is a proximity key fob. There is an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button on it, and a nice RAM badge. And this truck also has aftermarket remote start. So in winter time, you can remote start and warm up this RAM so it can be warm and ready to go when you want to leave the house. And this is a 2016 Ram 1500 Sport in bright silver, powered by the Hemi 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a crew cab configuration truck with the five foot box on the back and it's down at Crosstown in Edmonton, Alberta. I'm your man, David, and I'm gonna be taking you through this truck. Come to the front here, you'll have projector style halogen headlamps that'll light up the road in front of you. High beams are right there. LED running lights, which are also the turn signals. Front and rear bumpers are color matching, and so is the crosshairs grill. And there's two fog lights on the front bumper, and there is chrome accents inside the grill too looking really good and there's a bug deflector on the front of the hood this is running on 20 inch rims and this has four wheel disc brakes all around and mud flats behind all four tires all the tires are goodyear wrangler mud and snow tires so you're gonna have tons of traction both driver and passenger side door mirrors are color matching they have built-in led turn signal lamps these are breakaway and these are heated mirrors as well. Color matching door handles on the outside on all four doors. So I have the proximity key fob in my pocket. If you want to lock up the RAM when you're done with it, you just press this button right here. You heard the horn, it's now locked and secure. You want to get back inside very easily, you just put your hand around the door handle like this. The RAM will sense the fob is near and they'll unlock the doors for you. Here's the driver's side door panel. Storage down below with two big cup holders, storage the middle. Nice place for an arm. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Driver and passenger side windows up front are automatic. And this has power folding in mirrors. So if you need to park in a tight parking spot, you can fold the mirrors in. So you have more clearance. When you come back out, you press the button again and the mirrors go back out to where they were. This has a leather wrapped steering wheel. Feels great in your hands. This is a tilt steering wheel too. Handle right here so you the driver can easily get inside this truck. This has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. Dimmer knob right there. That'll turn on the box lights. Directional air vent, which you can close and open. Driver's seat is power with lumbar support. This has adjustable headrests on the front seats and this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall first you are, you adjust the seatbelt height so you're most comfortable inside this Ram 1500. Nice materials in the middle here for arms to rest on. There's a nice Ram badge. Grab this chrome handle. There's an upper storage area here. And there is a USB port, an auxiliary port, an SD card for connecting media. So plug anything into those areas and you can listen to your own music through the Alpine sound system. And there's also a USB port right here, which is fantastic for charging devices. If you have cords coming out of here, run them along the sides. So when you close the lid, it doesn't crush your cords. Grab a little lower. There's even more storage space down here. And there's a ledge there for some pens or anything small. Two big cup holders here with bubbles to hold your cups into place. There's a cell phone holder right here, a 12 volt DC power outlet, lots of space in there. And throughout the interior, you'll find dark chrome styling touches. Has another storage area right there. And this does have a auto dimming rear view mirror and LED interior lighting throughout. Now the back seat area, this door opens up nice and wide for easy access. There's storage down below storage in the middle nice place for an arm power window switch looking good convenience handle right here pocket on the back of the driver's seat and there's a 12 volt dc power outlet down here a nice ram badge and directional air vents which you can easily close and open there's two big cup holders there's a fold down armrest here with two more cup holders adjustable headrest in the back seats hooks up above so you can hit nice clothing so if you go into this vent your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled LED interior lamp right there. Push it with your hand, it'll come on and act as a reading lamp. Push it again, it'll shut off. Extra speakers up top, connected to the Alpine sound system. This does have insulated, removable in-floor storage areas. So you put ice in here, keep cans of Coke, bottles of water cold. And if it gets dirty, you can remove it and clean it. And this flips up like so, and there's a fold-out gate here. You can put things underneath or on top for storage if you're not using it. 
easily flip back just like this underneath here. There's even more storage space. It has a clip so you can clip this up and secure it. LED lights built in the bottom of the seats. They light up the feet area for you at nighttime so you can see where your feet are. This is where you put gasoline inside this Ram. Box lights are just up there. This has LED tail lamps, dual exhaust tips out the back with chrome around them. Nice Ram badge, 4x4 badge looking good. Spot for a trailer hitch down below here with connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this Ram. Backup camera is built into tailgate handle right there. Open up the tailgate, there's hooks in all four corners so you tie down your loads so you don't lose anything when you're driving down the highway. And this is a locking tailgate. Press the lock button on the key fob. All four doors will lock, including the tailgate. Come to the other side here. I'll show you the other side of the back seat. So storage down below, storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm, looking good. Convenience handle, pocket on the back of the passenger seat too. This side also flips up, and it's a fold-out gate here. So you put things underneath or on top for storage. And there's two cutouts for the cup holders there, which I think is a clever touch. And here is a subwoofer connected to the Alpine sound system, adding to the exceptional sound quality. And if you don't want people to see your subwoofer, not a problem, just clip it up like that. And of course, underneath the mat here is the insulated, removable in-floor storage area. There is a black button on the passenger door handle too. And if you have the key fob on you, you can lock up the RAM and you can unlock the doors just like this. Boom. Storage down below with two cup holders, stores in the middle. Power locks, power window switch, looking great. Convenience handle right here. Lower glove box with your manual and some other goodies in there for you. Upper glove box here with a goodie in there for you and a convenience light. Spot for some pens or packs of gum right here. Directional air vent which you can close and open. Another spot for some pens or packs of gum right here. And there's tons of space. Like, look how far I can put my fingers in there. It's, it goes quite deep in the passenger seat is manual adjustment underneath the passenger seat are the tire changing tools which allows for easy access and as a pocket on the side of the middle console here of course there's one on the driver's side too airbags built into the front seats there's side curtain airbags driver and passenger side airbags and more lots of safety built into this ram hop inside and take a closer look right now all right now i'm sitting inside the 2016 ram 1500 sport and the proximity key fob is in my pocket all you gotta do is put your foot on the brake down below go over the side here and press push button start button and that starts up this ram check out the gauges don't they look good and this does have a lcd driver information center screen in the middle here and this only has 13,108 kilometers on it so not very much at all it's been hardly driven so it's basically a brand new truck and using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel here we can go through the driver information center screen so the first thing you'll see is that you have your vehicle info area and the first thing it tells you is your oil life it tells you your full-on gauge summary your engine hours tire pressures for all four tires your transmission temperature oil temperature and to your oil life again and here you have your fuel economy it lets you know your fuel range your current liters per 100 kilometers your average liters per 100 kilometers hold this button here you can easily reset that you have a trip a calculator and a trip b calculator both of them tell you how far you've driven your average fuel economy, your average vehicle speed, and the time been driving for. Hold this button here. You can reset one or both of those. Audio center lets you know what's playing on your media. Message center in case this RAM wants to tell you something. Screen setup here is to customize the screen, make more of your own. There's a compass, a clock, fuel range, a thermometer. Customize what's in all four corners here in screen setup. This does have a digital speedometer, which you can change to miles per hour if you're going to the States. And back to your vehicle info area. And if you open up any door on this truck, it will let you know which door on the truck is opened. Nice big Ram badge in the middle here with, of course, a horn. It's a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right. And behind the steering wheel, there's steering wheel mounted audio controls that allows you to adjust your volume, go through your presets, and so much more. Gear selection buttons right here. And this does have voice recognition. Cancel. Canceled. Using voice recognition, you can tell Sirius XM to play a certain genre of music, which I think is pretty cool. And if a call comes through 
Bluetooth, you can answer the call by pressing that button right there. This does have the rotary style gear shifter. I personally like these a lot. They're, you know, very easy to use. They're out of the way and very straightforward. You know, I just think it's really great. And if you throw this truck into reverse, back of camera appears on the touch screen. You connect system, giving you a great view of what's behind you. And if I turn the wheel, it'll guide you to where you're going to be backing up. Four wheel drive is right here. And this does have four wheel drive auto. Turn off the traction control. You have total slash haul mode, heated seats up front and two settings for both. Fantastic. This also has a heated steering wheel, 115 volt AC power outlet right there. And this does have dual climate control with the auto feature, which allows the ram to adjust your climate control for you. These are the physical controls. Tuning knob, browse button for your audio, volume knob, mute button for your audio. Turn the screen off here if you don't want to look at it. Touch it with your finger, it comes back on. You have your hazards and a back button here to help you guide through your system. You have directional air vents, which you can close and open. Nice ramp badge there, a little spa for some things. Up here is the logo for the Alpine sound system, letting everybody know that you have the fantastic audio. Nice stitching on the dashboard. You have reading lamps up here, a programmable garage door opener, and a switch for the rear sliding window, so you can open that up. And there's lots of visibility out the front window. And there's convenience mirrors with convenience lights on the sun visors, which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. And here is the touchscreen Uconnect system. Wait for it. It's coming. Wow. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, I love it. Definitely have a good time driving this truck. Listen to all your favorite tunes. You can turn it back down like that, or you can press the mute button. It tells you a song and the artist in the middle of the screen. Access to a mini map to GPS navigation right here. Presets up above. Easily set a preset by holding one of these boxes here with your finger. You can direct tune into a specific radio station that you want to listen to. Adjust your audio, balance, fade, equalizer, speed adjusted volume, and more. Media button here, so if you have something plugged into the USB port, the auxiliary port, a Bluetooth device connected, or something in the SD card port, go here and you choose which area that you want to listen to music through. And there's also access to a mini map. Touchscreen controls for the heated seats up front, the heated steering wheel. You have your mirror dimmer here too, and access to the back camera. You can connect DAP showing all the cool stuff that you have. Touchscreen climate control, easily set the temperature with just your finger, adjust where you want the air to go, set your fan speed, and more. GPS navigation, main page, view the map, gives you a great view of where you are, and you can zoom in, and you zoom out on the map. Go where to, put an address, search up points of interest, you can view recent destinations, and so much more. Bluetooth area here. Pair of phone, make hands-free calls. Everything you do on your phone, make a call. You do hands-free on the touchscreen, you connect system here. You can pair multiple devices. And hands-free calling is the way to go. I wouldn't suggest you use your phone while you're driving because if you get caught, you're going to get a nasty fine and that could be a lot of money out of your bank account. And there's a clock here, outside thermometer, a compass, and it tells you what temperatures are set at for both dual climate control right there. It's a fantastic system. Definitely need to come check it out sometime soon in this Ram 1500. It's the 2016 Ram 1500 Sport in bright silver. Powered by the Hemi, 5.7 liter V8 engine underneath the hood. This is a crew cab configuration truck with the five foot box on the back. It is a very comfortable truck to sit in and drive. It is good looking. It is actually pretty peppy too. And it can help you get the jobs done. So come to Crosstown and see if this is going to be yours. I'm Man David and I'll talk to you later. Here you go.